So Facebook shop have really, really cool feature. It's basically a way of synchronizing your Facebook shop with Google Sheets. This allows you for some sort of automations, not a full automation that software gives you, but this is a automation that you can utilize and I will tell you how to do it. What's up you guys? My name is Patrick and what I do here on this channel, I talk about Facebook Marketplace and eBay dropshipping. And if you're interested in this topic, don't forget to check out other videos that I make, like and subscribe this video. I also have a Facebook group that you can join. It's a free Facebook group dedicated for dropshipping on Facebook and eBay. Anyone that wants to learn more about this is welcome to join our like-minded community. And in today's video, I wanna show you how you can kind of automate your Facebook Marketplace dropshipping business. Now, I just want to specifically mention here, this is not the full automation. So in this video, I'm going to talk about Google Sheet method that you can synchronize your uh, with your shop. But in the video in the future, I'm going to talk about software that allow you for automating this process, which uh, it's a little bit more powerful than what we are doing today. However, if you are starting out and you want to have everything organized and sync up, this is a great way to do it because Google Sheets are very, very powerful tool. If you don't know what Google Sheets are, it's basically like an Excel spreadsheet, okay? The thing is uh, that Google Sheets are hosted on the cloud and are accessible from anywhere and uh, you can edit them on your phone, you can edit them on your laptop, you can edit them anywhere. You can also give access to your Google spreadsheet to your VA and your VA can manage the spreadsheet for you. They can change the prices, they can change the quantity, they can change the images, they can change the title, description. All of that can be done through the Google spreadsheet. Your VA technically doesn't need access to your Facebook shop because they can just have access to the Google spreadsheet and make the changes on the spreadsheet. The only downside is that at the moment you can only upload one image, the main image for your item. You cannot upload multiple images. I thought that I found a way to around it but unfortunately, the trick I've learned doesn't work. Maybe in the future, there is going to be a way to upload multiple images to your item. But at the moment, you can only do it one. So you will need to go back to your item and edit it. However, you can still use this method for repricing, for changing quantity, for uploading images in bulk. This is still a great way and it's automatic. You can set it up that the Google spreadsheet will automatically every hour update your information. So without further ado, let me go on my laptop and show you how to do it. All right, so I'm in my uh, Facebook shop right now. And what we're gonna do now, we're gonna sync Google Sheet with my Facebook shop. So now whenever I make it changes on Google Sheet, they will automatically be updated on this Facebook shop, okay? Uh, that way you can upload a lot of items uh, at once and keep inventory, keep a track of everything, keep your supplier links, everything on one spreadsheet. That way uh, you start organized and have a backup just in case if, I don't know, something happens to your Facebook shop, you still have your Excel spreadsheet that you can upload to another shop or maybe another account or whatever. It's basically like a backup and track uh, option that you have and I'm going to shut up and I'm going to show you how to do it. So uh, the tab that interests us is the catalog tab because this is where you add items and you manage your inventory. Uh, and uh, this one right here. So under catalog tab, there is a section that says data sources. So this is where you manage the spreadsheets and add data. All right. So once you're there, don't really worry about this tab. What we gonna do is we are gonna click here where it says add items and change it to add multiple items, okay? And right here, it gives you three options. Manual, this is uh, basically adding items one by one, manually uploading everything manually, which is a time consuming process. We're gonna do this. Uh, pixel, that's anything related to uh, like, let's say you have a Shopify website, for example, and you have your Facebook pixel connected. So the Facebook pixel is allow, uh, able to track um, any activity on the website and also the catalogs and they can import everything from your Facebook shop. I mean, from your uh, Shopify website. But again, that's not what interests us. What interests us is the data feed. Use a spreadsheet or a file to add and update your items automatically. 
and right here it says Excel or Google Sheets and we are gonna do Google Sheets. All right, so now it tells us like the steps that we need to do, but before we do anything, we need to actually create a template and uh, Facebook is kind enough to give us an option to uh, download their pre-made template that you can use and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna download their template. So I'm gonna click on build template and uh, it gives you option to create a standard template or a custom template. I would say 80% of you guys, including me, or maybe even 90% of, of us will use a standard template. So that's where I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with standard template and click on download template, okay? So right here, I just downloaded this template uh, that I'm gonna upload to my Google Sheets. And that's where we're gonna go next. We're gonna go to Google Sheets. So I typed in, in Google, Google Sheets, and I'm gonna log into my account, okay? So in order to have Google Sheets, you need to have a Gmail account. So I'm not gonna talk about how to create a Gmail here because that's pretty simple. If you don't know, just Google it. It's pretty simple to create a Gmail account, um, but I already have one. So I'm gonna click on Google Sheets and go back to my uh, Google Sheet database, my cloud. So I'm gonna go, go to the Sheets. And this is my uh, Google Sheets that I worked on in the past, but I'm gonna go ahead and click on blank and I'm gonna upload that template that I just create, uh, downloaded from Facebook. Okay, so this is the blank spreadsheet. I'm gonna go on file and I'm gonna click on import because I wanna insert that spreadsheet that I just downloaded from Facebook. I'm gonna go to upload and drop that spreadsheet right here, okay? Okay, so I wanna replace the spreadsheet. What they mean by replace, they, if I wanna replace this blank one because I don't have anything right here. Yes, I don't wanna do that. And I'm gonna change the separate type to comma. This is very important. The reason why this is important because it's recognizing a file as a CSV file and that's what we want. We want to recognize this as a CSV file, okay? So this is your spreadsheet. This is what your spreadsheet look like, okay? And uh, this is where you uh, edit your spreadsheet. So let me give you a brief explanation. So for example, title, right? This is where you edit the, uh, the name of your uh, item, the title. So um, right now I have five items, one, two, three, four, five and they all title example title, okay? But let's say I wanna name, change the title of the first item to Patrick Loves Facebook, okay? So that's gonna be the title of the first item. Uh, let's change the another uh, item name to Patrick, Patrick Likes Facebook, okay? Uh, so, um, and again, you can do it with any, any item. You can change the title right here. I'm not going to go over this because it's silly, but uh, you get the idea. Basically, this is the title of your item. Description. So this is where you type in the description of your item. Uh, I'm just going to type in whatever for the item number one. Let's just keep it as it is. Ability, condition price so this is added the price let's change this item price to let's say i don't know 18 dollars for example okay whoops 18. all right link so this is a interesting section so link what you can do here you can insert the link of your supplier so let's say i want to list this item right here so i'm gonna download this link okay i'm gonna copy it go back to my spreadsheet and replace it the one that says example.com to this one. Why? Because now I will, I'll be able to track my supplier link on my Google spreadsheet. So whenever I get an order for this item, I can simply just go to my spreadsheet, click right here, and it will take me directly here. Uh, it's just, this is basically to make your life easier and it's a very useful thing. Image link. So this is where you insert your image um, and it has to be hosted somewhere online. You have to upload it to some sort of service uh, in order for it to be online, visible online. You cannot put 
image into the cell it has to be a link to an image so how can you do that well one way would be just basically uh, getting the link from your supplier so you can right click and then do copy image address and upload it right here right that's one way but the problem is when you do that your Facebook will know where you where this image is coming from because it says right here in the meta description that it's coming from Walmart so I don't know if Facebook will like that you are using an image directly from Walmart so what you can do you can upload this image into some sort of service that allows you to host uh, images so for example there is this platform called Imgur so you can download this image from your supplier that's what are we gonna do and then go to Imgur and upload it right here so now when I upload it into Imgur I can copy the link of this image so I'm gonna do right click copy image address go back to my Google spreadsheet and I'm gonna replace this image with the one I just created okay boom that's it all right and then there's a bunch of other stuff that like color size you know all the other stuff but I'm not gonna go over this because I just want to show you the process the idea what you can do with this okay now so I have my uh, Google spreadsheet uh, done what I'm gonna do is oh let me name it so let's do Facebook marketplace inventory all right now what you need to do is you need to make this spreadsheet accessible meaning uh, you need to allow Facebook shop to have access to the spreadsheet so we're gonna do this by clicking file and then we're gonna go ahead and click on share right here and when you do that make sure to click here where it says change to anyone with the link and copy this link that way Facebook will have access to your spreadsheet and they will be able to uh, use it and I'm back to my shop okay now I'm gonna go ahead and click on Google Sheets right here click next here is explaining the steps but we already did that we've done that we created a template so we're gonna go ahead and click next here you're gonna paste the link that we copied from uh, Google Sheets and click next right here is asking you how often you want to update this spreadsheet so you can do it daily weekly hourly if you're a dropshipper you definitely want to do it hourly ignore this keep it as it is don't worry about this section click upload all right so now the spreadsheet is being uploaded basically what is happening Facebook is trying to access the Google spreadsheet uh, that we created and it seems like they did found it they found that there's five items in the spreadsheet and now these items are populating into the item section right here they're not here yet but they will be here shortly all right so I just refreshed the page and after a few seconds my items showed up in my Google spreadsheet and right here we have the item that says Patrick love Facebook sorry likes Facebook and that's the Patrick loves Facebook that's the one I created the price changes as well here we go uh, I don't know why for some reason this item shows uh, this image I think that's the image I that I think I had an item name like this before and it's just an old cache on my browser possibly but when you click on it it's showing the right image that uh, I uploaded into an Imgur and right here whenever I get an order for this item I can just click here and it will take me to my supplier website and I can just order it straight from here so from now on whenever I make changes on my Google sheet these changes will get reflected on my Facebook shop so let's say my supplier change a price on an item okay and I've noticed that so I can just simply edit it right here and then the spreadsheet will automatically upload this within an, an hour interval if you don't want to wait if you want to just speed up the process because you can you can simply just go to data sources click on the data 
source, then click on upload now and click on request update now. That way you don't have to wait an hour, but instead we will force the spreadsheet to be updated right now, which is really cool because if you have any immediate changes, that's the quickest way to update it, right? So we changed the price to $24.99. If I go back to items, I'm gonna refresh the page. You can see that the price was updated to $24.99 as well the, as the image was changed as well. So this is really cool. This is allows you for some sort of automation. It's a semi-automation. It's not like not the uh, full automation. However, you can do a lot of stuff with it. It's pretty powerful. The only downside is the fact that it only allows you to upload one image. So if you want to add more, you will have to edit this item and then put images right here. I think it's something that Facebook just um, doesn't support at the moment. I don't think they support uploading a bunch of images at once for one particular item. Um, not sure why is that. Maybe that will change in, in, in the future. But this is pretty cool. Um, this is a really great way for, uh, you know, managing your Facebook shop and uh, your inventory if you're on a budget, if you don't want to spend money on the software. But again, I think if you want to scale up, software is the way to go. And on the next video, when I'm going to release the next video in this series, I'm going to show you how you can utilize the software in order to manage your Facebook shop. That'll be it for today. I hope you find this valuable. If you do, don't forget to like this video and let me know in the comments what you think about this method. Again, I'm going to make another video when I'm going to show how you how you can set this up with a software which will allow you to do way more stuff. If you're interested in learning more about Facebook dropshipping, check out the courses that I'm promoting uh, down below in the description. Don't forget to join our free Facebook Marketplace dropshipping group on Facebook and also check out the other affiliate links for other uh, softwares that I'm promoting uh, like Zik Analytics for example it's a product research tool but other than that that will be it for today and I'll see you on the next one boom